let's say you were going to have a party and every person who came you thought would have about two portions of apple juice so let's say only one person came one person so you would need to get two portions of apple juice what about if five people came five people came you would have 10 portions of apple juice. Notice what we're doing is we're getting the amount of people times by some number, in this case two, to get the portions that we need to get. Well that is being directly proportional. As the first number goes up, the second number goes up multiplied by some constant, in this case two. Now hopefully that might help remind you when you see the word proportionality or directly proportional what it actually means if you think in terms of portions of chips or apple juice or such. That's actually one of the big problems with trying to answer questions like this is actually remembering what proportional actually means. It basically means as one thing goes up the other thing is in the same relation to it. And in, case, in the case of directly proportional, as one thing goes up, the other thing goes up. How would we answer an actual question though? Here we have the cost of apples, perhaps, to make your apple juice. The cost of apples, C, is directly proportional to the number of apples you buy, A. When C equals 10, A equals 5. Work out C when A equals 8. Sounds pretty complicated. But let's just write the equation. The cost of apples, C, equals, well, it's directly proportional to the number of apples you buy. So something about A. Remember with the portions of apple juice, we had to multiply it by some constant. Well, that's what directly proportional means. It means you get your number of apples that you buy, multiply it by some constant, in this case the price of the apples and you'll get the cost which kind of makes sense doesn't it the number of apples you buy multiplied by the price and you'll get the cost that you'll have to pay and the key thing is in all of these proportional questions you're working out what k is and yes we do use the same letter again and again k it says when c equals 10 a equals 5 so let's put that into the equation. Don't put this extra bit of A being A. That's, we're going to work that out in a moment. Put the first two numbers that you see, the pair of numbers. So C equals 10. The reason is because the cost will be different when you buy eight apples compared to when you buy five apples. That's why we're going to use this cost of 10 over here. So the cost is 10, or 10 pounds or $10, whatever. K multiplied by five, five apples. We still got that k there. Remember our mission is to find k. What should we do? Well, 10 equals k times five, so that means that's the same thing as saying 10 equals 5k. So what's k? Divide by five to both sides and you'll see that two is k. k equals two. Five times two is 10. Now that we know what k is, which in this question is the price of the apples, work out the cost when A equals eight. Go back to our equation, C equals, but now we know what K is. So we don't have to write K anymore, we can just write two. Two times the number of apples, which is eight. So two times eight. In this case, the cost will be 16 pounds. Again, when you see the phrase directly proportional, it means as one thing goes up, the other thing goes up by a certain constant. And think portions, that might help remind you what this all means. Let's do another example, a harder example. You might get a question like this. This time you get cubes and squares and roots and that kind of thing. Let's try that. And we're not even given the words, we're just given the letters. We're not even told what it stands for. But we can do this. Y is directly proportional to the cube of x. Let's try that step by step. Y 
is directly proportional, so that means y equals, because it's proportional, we know there's going to be a k in there, and we know it's going to be k multiplied by something. Directly proportional is always k multiplied by the other thing. The first thing equals k times the second thing. What is the second thing? Well, in this case, it's going to be k multiplied by, so let's put a little dot instead of an x, so we're not get confused, k multiplied by the cube of x. So not just x, so many students just write x. It's the cube of x, which means x cubed. Don't be tempted just to write x. It's y is directly proportional to the cube of x, so x cubed. Now we put the numbers in. When y equals 48, x equals 2. So 48 is y equals k multiplied by 2 cubed, because x is 2. What's 2 cubed? 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So 48 equals k times by 8, or 8k. Divide by 8 to both sides, and you get 6 equals k. But that's not our answer, because the question was, write down an equation for y in terms of x. You might be wondering, I thought we already had an equation, y equals k times x cubed. But now we can write that equation knowing what k is. So we can write y equals 6 times x cubed. There we have it, so y equals 6x cubed. To recap, directly proportional means as one thing goes up, the other thing goes up by a certain scale or multiplied by a certain constant according to the portions, like portions of apple or portions of chips, etc. So what you do is you write the first thing equals k times the second thing. Sometimes they'll say directly proportional to the cube of x. So it's y equals k times x cubed. Sometimes they'll say directly proportional to the square of x. So that would be y equals k times x squared. Sometimes it will be to the root of x. I've seen that before. Let's say a is directly proportional to the root of b. How would we do that? Well, that's a equals k times, remember it's always k times with directly proportional. It said the root of b, so that would be the square root of b. They'll just say root, but they mean square root, square root of b. But no matter what the two terms are, directly proportional means the first thing equals k times the second thing. Put the numbers in find out K, and voila.